multi drug resistant organisms are resulting in increase in the morbidity and the mortality all over the world over the last decade particularly the gram negative organisms mdr gram negative organism they have spread all over the world and have resulted in increased mortality in the icus and the hospitals so that is what i am going to discuss today the objectives of my talk are to learn about the common mdr organisms to understand what are the common mechanism of resistance and to understand the antibiotic strategies for mdr and xtr uh, gram negative organisms there is increased level of resistance to antibiotic which we routinely used against bacteria is basically responsible for nosocomial infections which have resulted in not only the higher morbidity higher mortality prolonged hospitalizations and higher cost of care why do we have so much of mdr it's because i think all of us are responsible we overuse and misuse antibiotics even if it is a non infectious we use antibiotics and to make your patient well there is a pressure on you and that result in overzealous antibiotic prescription by the physicians and the over the counter sales in certain countries in asia particularly in india that also by the public has resulted in this and of course the inappropriate antibiotic therapy which could be because patient has been exposed to antibiotics earlier prolonged length of stay prior hospitalization non compliance presence of invasive devices and colonization pressure by the resistant pathogens in the icu they all result in the increased resistance of bacteria in the icus why are we so much concerned about mdr we concern because it has been seen in the studies that if a person is infected with mdr organism it result in the bad outcome and if you see in this study they have shown the chances of survival are less if a person is suffering from mdr organisms before i go ahead i think it's important to describe the terminology when do you call mdr xtr or pan drug resistance the multi drug resistance is called when a isolate is non susceptible to at least one agents in three or more antibiotic classes extensive drug resistance when isolate is non susceptible to at least one agent in all but or fewer antibiotic classes and pan drug resistance when isolate is non susceptible to all agents this terminology is important